Hello and welcome to Nauta Gamer Gaming. This is Genesis with episode 17 of Subnautica. Well, we're getting up there, aren't we? It's episode 17. <laughs> All right, so let's catch up a bit. I've uh, been wa wandering around this room and I did a lot of uh, sorting, thankfully. So that uh, got things a little... What am I hearing? It didn't sound extremely unfriendly. It's just not a sound I'm used to hearing. What makes that sound? Huh. Anyways, I shouldn't worry too much about that. Anyways, yes, I've been doing some sorting. Uh, we have a storage system now, which is great. Uh, that's all taken Welcome care of. Aboard, now, I added a second moon pool, and I realized that, hey, I installed my vehicle bay right here. Where the fuck did it go? <laughs> I, I guess I lost my vehicle bay. Uh, and now here's, here's something funny. You want to hear something funny? Here's something funny. <clears throat> uh, in the meantime, when I had some spare time while uh, Wifey Poo was streaming... Uh, I decided to do another hardcore playthrough. Um, I started a little bit, started picking at it. And uh, why can't I place this? Is there, no, is there nothing, there's nothing on that side. Why can't I place that there? Anyways, I started another hardcore playthrough and I caught up to my YouTube series in like half the time. Like, I think I have something like 20 some odd hours onto this playthrough, maybe a bit more. And I accomplished up to here in about at least half of that. So I think I know what I'm doing now. Isn't that scary? That's a little scary to me. So why can't that go there? Um, hold on. This is really bothering me. Anyways, um, the funny thing, really funny thing, it's hilarious, that I did, did that exact thing. I had, I have this base in the exact same place because I, I want to be able to get accustomed to the area. I built the moon pool here. I had another pool here, just the exact same place. And I had the vehicle console right here. And I put the moon pool here as well and fucking destroyed it. So I'm kind of upset about that. So let, maybe we can start the day by getting this repaired. And then I want to go to that disease research facility and open that door that we didn't see before. So yeah, let's do that. So let's start with this material. All right, I believe we got everything here. Three titanium, which is hard to find, apparently. Computer chip and copper wire. Bam, back up and running. All right, so let's do an appraisal. I'm gonna bring the prawn suit in. So we have a depth module that lets us go down to 1300 meters, I think, so that should be good. Um, I think we needed something that we didn't have, like the kyanite, is that what tier three needed? Uh, all right, that's the modification station. Um, what else can we install on this thing? Thermal, yeah, Kynite can't do that. Uh, actually, having this jump jet upgrade, I'm excited to get some use out of that because I did not uh, get a lot of chance to use it. I just kind of jumped around a little bit, so that was fun. Uh, yes, modification station for the additional upgrades. So module, yeah, it needs Kynite. So I think I have everything else here. Yeah, we're all, we're all modded up. Now, Cyclops, I wonder if I can... Well, what's the upgrading situation of the Cyclops? I haven't checked that in a little bit. Let's take a quick gander Rooney. At how the cyclops is upgraded. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's not our current upgrades. That's our fabricator. All right, current upgrades. We have a efficiency module and a shield generator. Not bad, but this thing can only go 500 meters, which is not great. Uh, let's see. So depth module, plasteel, and ruby. Okay. Uh, ooh, I didn't, okay. I want to find the one for sonar and fire suppression system that might be handy. Can't do that one. So I guess we should do that, Plasteel and Ruby. Okay, all right, let's get that done. Uh, make sure we have all of our batteries charged up and food and water, and then let's head into the depths once again and find out what is going on with this alien business. All right, well, I don't have the materials to get any additional modules made up. I was looking around, we are, we are out of titanium, uh, quite surprisingly. There's usually quite abundant supplies, but uh, just there just hasn't been a lot around. It's almost been easier to get, well, actually, it was a hell of a lot easier to get titanium back in the original area. And I was trying to search for data boxes, and I guess those are already open, so we just don't need those. But uh, titanium would be the thing that I would like there. So where's titanium? Like, tell me. I'd like to know. Uh, it says some is in the opposite direction over here. Is that underground? I don't know if it's underground or not. Either case, we're going to stop screwing with that because I'm, I'm quite, quite bored of that, that issue. So we're done with that. Let's just go. Let's just hop in our, uh, our prawn suit and get down into there. So it is uh, fully repaired. Let's put a repair tool on our, our person. 
There we go. I have a couple ion cubes. I got a couple tablets. And I got an orange tablet. I guess that's going to be a, a use of somewhere. We'll see. And uh, let's see. On the prawn suit, we do have an extra storage module. And we have the jump jets. Here we go. And the... Uh, oh, yeah. We, we're missing one more module. But really, I don't have anything else I can upgrade it that I have the material for. Like, we don't have... Oh, unpowered. What? Why am I alone power? Hold on. What's, uh... Yeah, this is running. Oh, is that scanner running using too much juice? Do we need something stronger than, than that? Hold on. Where the hell's our... <laughs> where, the, where the hell's our, uh... Um... Oh, our scanner. Yes. So, is this using that much energy? Really? Alright, let's turn this friggin' thing off. Well, I guess we need... Huh. I guess we need a second generator? What's happening? Why am I not generating energy? Uh, I mean, it's got a whole bunch of oculuses in here to chew on. It says active. I don't understand. Uh, can I turn it on and off again? Can't, can't take them out. No. Well, I don't know what, what the problem is. Well, whatever. We're not going to screw with that right now. I guess we... <laughs> All right, that's fine. Guess we're not doing anything about this. Let's just jump in our prawn suit and, and just get out there. I've, I've done enough talking. Let's get, get into some action. Let's get down into the Lost River and find out what's really down there. All right, we've descended into the Lost River. That was quite the jump. So I should have a lot better time moving around. Man, I wish these lights were better. I mean, I know there's some lights, but that's not great. Oh, there's one of those dickwads over there. I mean, if I can avoid having to hop out of the suit and fight them, that would be great. Copper, we got lots of copper up there. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, maybe I, I might grab some nickel when I'm down here. We'll see. Not a priority. Lots of urinite. So if we, we, need to, we need to look around some wrecks. Because I don't think we've... Uh, I'd like to find that nuclear module. Alright, so let's move along. And... Uh, wow, this place, this place still freaks me out. Lots of resources down here. That was a whole um, uh, bunch of silver right there. Man, this place is some freaky looking. I'm sure glad I got a whole bunch of titanium between me and whatever's down here. Okay, there's lots of gel sacks down here. A lot of these guys. They can, they can piss off. Oh, man. Um, oh, nickel there. Um, are you going to be a problem? Not anymore. You know he's still alive? doesn't do a lot of damage. Not as much as a fist. It still does the trick. Okay, do I see any assholes around here? No? Alright, let's grab a little pocket of nickel just to get it done before I forget. Alright, I think that's all the nickel. Gosh, it's hard to see in this thing. Alright, so let's keep moving. Um, I guess we're going this way. Tit Ooh, titanium. Ooh, I need that. Let's take a quick look. Oh, wow, there's that dude's right above me. I'll come back for you later. I can get you some results. Um, okay, so I probably get rid of that um, that beacon. I don't really need that right now. No, thank you. Get rid of all those. Don't need those either. There. Less distractions. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, I, th mm. I, uh, I, I need to know where that disease research facility is. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's in this direction. Jump jets, do your thing. Urgh. So it would be nice to find that and get that done with and then start moving forward with this whole story thing. Well, shit. I got lost and I actually ended up exiting, I think. Is this the right spot? Where am I? I mean, my base is right up there. Yeah, I think I might have... Yeah, I think I might have just uh, exited the area. <laughs> All right, got turned around. Let's head back in there. We're, we're no cowards. We're going in there. We're going to get done. Oh, I think that might be it over there. I think I saw this before. Did I see this this bone thing over here? Uh, gosh, I don't know. I think... Hmm. Not great at uh, figuring out where the hell I'm going. I think it might be this. I think I came down here, come to think of it. Yeah, I think this might be the right way. All right, I'm going to keep moving forward. Man, this, this jump that thing is awesome. Uh, if you can kind of get the hang of it, I'm still working on it. Um, what I've been doing... Yeah, jump jet fills up fast. I can kind of shoot onto the ground. Actually, I need some rubies. Huh. 
All right, shoot under the ground and then jump jet forward and it really gets your momentum going. So I'll shoot up here, let go. Phew. Yeah, it really gets the speed going. It's really nice. Oh, no, there we go. Uh, now we're talking. I had the wrong way. I got spun around a couple times, but yeah, I did I did find it. This is this is definitely definitely what we're missing. All right, now find out how the hell to get in here again. Oh, without any catching too much attention. Oh, we love these this the combination of the grappling hook and the jets. It just yeah, you kind of feel like Spider-Man a little bit. Oh, what? You fuck off. <clears throat> get you get a, did you get enough of the you get enough of that? Oh, I need to recharge my jets here. Hold on. Uh, at least it's over here somewhere. Uh, oh. I don't know. It's uh, this is gonna be a lot harder to find <laughs> uh, using using the prawn suit. Oh, there we go. There's the entrance. Can we uh, cable our way in there? Yeah, there we go. Woo! Nice. Okay, so I think it was right here. There we go. All right. Um, secrets of the universal weight. So I slapped it in here. Mm-hmm. Let me in. All right. Let's hope this was worth it. All right, what do we got here? Data terminal. Specimen research data. Integrating new PDA data. All right, uh, let's hop in the suit while we read this. Uh, that would make the most sense. There we go. All right, specimen research data. A cattle, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Try that again. A catalog of information of the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptoms remission on exposure to enzyme 40. Wait, oh, enzyme 42. Shows remission on exposure. Okay, is that what happened to the peeper? But sh the symptoms quickly reoccur. Shows advanced learning behaviors. Shows some capacity to transit enzymes to other specimens. Okay. Uh, Leviathan embryos. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site. Okay, I think we saw that. Embryos show no signs of immunity. Death occurs within three weeks. Small samples of eggs have been retained for continued high priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. Uh, there's a lot of reading here. Large herbivore theta. Off-site lab to, to establish, okay, off-site lab established to study remains. Show some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far pr pr proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Okay. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned to designator C. Emperor. Bone samples from Emperor specimens indicate some potential for the Kara immunity. Some sorry, single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed in a volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. Well, I guess that's our next objective. Assessment. While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. So 1.4 kilometer depth. Okay, so let's take that. And I think we had... Something else here, alien data, um, scan data, no artifacts. Did I miss something? Data terminal. Where was it that it told us where there was other, other uh, areas? Alien vent, um, where was that? Codes and clues, there we go. Alien facility locations, thermal power facility, depth 1200 meters, located inside of Central Rock, rock Information, in a uh, area of intense volcanic activity. So that's, is that the same one? Uh, generates, okay, well, maybe not. One's a thermal facility and the other one is something else. Hold on, um, scan data artifacts, terminal data, um, 1.4 kilometers. Okay, no, there's a, there's two, okay, that's two different facilities. This one's 1.4 and this is for research and there's a thermal one at 1 1.2, which I assume is our next location. Okay, so where is it? Uh, okay, doesn't tell us anywhere where it is. So I guess we're just gonna have to figure that out and kind of look around, which is great, because this is the place to look around and vacation in. All right, we're Spider-Manning our way back to where we came from. Assuming this is, oh, there's lights pointing that way. Does that tell us where to go? West? I mean, maybe a play is too much stuff in to die here, but when I see lights pointing in a direction, Maybe I should go there? Okay. Uh, I'm game. Now, would this be a crazy place to build a base? Because <laughs> uh, I'm looking at my power levels. 
It is not infinite. <laughs> uh, I'm, you know, this uh, prawn suit eventually will run out of energy, and I'll be um, in a real bad situation. So maybe I should consider some sort of a charging station down here. I don't know how far deep this goes, but considering there's two other facilities to explore. Oh, what the hell's that? Hold on. Ooh, that's pretty looking. Ooh, hold on. Uh, you know, there's titanium here, right? Yeah, there is. Um, okay, let's uh, see if it's safe enough to pop out to look look around. All right. So let's check our storage container. Okay, so we got a bunch of nickel. We'll just take that out. Wow, this is this holds a lot of storage. This is great. Let's get some titanium, just in case. All right, got a bunch of titanium. Like, hold on, let's take a quick gander. Uh, yeah, I got uh, yeah a dozen titanium just from that one node, and there's a lot of nodes here. So, I mean, would it be crazy to have a base around here? I mean, those guys are assholes. But this area... I don't know. This looks kind of nice. Those are, those are friendly. I mean, at least not harmful. Okay, there's some gel sacks. There seems to be shale down here. Or, no, that's not shale. That's, uh... Gold. What do we need to build something? Hold on, I'm, I'm having a crazy notion here. Uh, I don't know if there's enough materials here to start like, a charging station. So I, I would need a... Uh, maybe a thermal reactor or a bioreactor? I don't know how to do thermal reactor, do I? Water filtration bulkhead? No, I don't. Uh, bioreactor. So wiring kit, that's uh, silver. Uh, lubricant. Okay, that would be the big problem. I don't see if there's any lubricant stuff down here. Um, that's the only way I'd, I'd be able to have any kind of a power set up here. Hmm. So I'd have to bring some, some lubricant. The rest I could probably find. Like I saw tons of silver. Um, there seems to be some gold down here. So, yeah, maybe. Oh, this looks pretty kick-ass. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a little little base here, a little stopping station. All right, so I'm gonna pop out here and take a quick look at this thing. Uh, there's some deep shrooms. I know what those are for. It's for hydrochloric acid, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what's this thing? Giant cove tree. Ooh. All right, let's see what this says. Ooh, there's a lot to say. A hardy, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches of the surface. Ghost leviathan eggs. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs. Oh, fuck. Okay, now, my next question is how do we set this thing on fire? Okay, let's keep reading. A uh, tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, so now the branches protect and grow with them as they wait for the right conditions to hatch. That's not cool. That's... Yeah, no, can we burn this thing? Can we start a fire underwater? Is that... Do we have the technology? Nah, no, screw it. Alright, let's go back to prawn suit and keep looking. Um, seems to be another entrance over there. Okay, so this is a, another alcove area. So what's... Uh, okay, there's lots of gel sacks. Cool. Now we're going to know where to come for that if we need it. Just, just keep a note of, internal note of the resources. In case we do make this a reality. Um, just a bunch of roots, and ooh, a big drop over here. Whoa. All right, well, let's take a look. This seems to be going a lot deeper. Oh, I wonder if this is where... Yeah, 30, we can go 1,300 meters deep. This seems to be go deeper and deeper and deeper. Oh, 1,000. Okay, we're, we're a kilometer below now. Oh. Ooh, I just got a vibe. I just got a bad vibe. Just now. Okay. Uh, Alright. Feeling a little nervous. I don't know why. It's like someone's... Oh. Oh, fuck. I hear sounds. Okay, is that just... That's just thermal stuff, right? That's just some... Um, fissures, uh, bubbling with water and all that crap. Hey, what's that? Um, I don't see anything... Dangerous yet. Let's take a look. Now, um... Okay, well, it's uh, 50 degrees Celsius right now. That can't be good. Yeah, we just... Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm not getting out of the suit. <laughs> nope. Oh, just stepped on something. What the fuck is that? Hi? Oh, no. 
Uh, no. Uh, what's the what's this doing? Why is it on me? Um, I want it off me. I don't see me having any adverse effects, but anything that hugs my face, it's just not good. All right, so is it less hot where I am? Oh no, no, pretty hot. Fuck off. Yeah, that was hot. Shit, did I bring any food with me? Oh, of course I didn't. All right, we're at 52% energy, but we did a lot of fucking around. So if I was dedicated at returning from once I came, I have a little bit of leeway. So if it hits like 40%, I'm going back. I just want to get away from those stupid face-hugging things. All right, we're at 1,200 meters. Um, I'm getting close to crush depth for this thing, which is not great. Um, one would assume that if I'm required to go any deeper, I would find this kyanite crystal stuff, which I, I have no idea what this shit looks like. Uh, am I going the right direction? Okay, just, uh, copper. I think that's copper. Is there, I saw, I saw some fish around here. Maybe I should try to eat something. I don't know. Maybe something sustainable. More lava. More lava. Oh yeah, what are these things? Maybe I can stab them and cook them quickly. Hmm. Like super quick. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, cooked thing. Did I, did I get it? Come back here. Okay, I'm not taking damage, I don't think. Okay, so I got a cooked magmarang. 20 food. Ooh, that helped. And we didn't seem to suffer a lot. We took a little bit of health, I think. Yeah, very little. So that seems to be a viable option. Ooh, and there's a lot of them. All right, so we might be able to be a, sustain ourselves off those things. Not those things. Those guys can suck a dick. All right, still moving along. Nope, not going any deeper than that. No, thank you. I'm almost surprised I haven't seen anything, like, more threatening. Oh, shit. Nope. Nope. Where am I? Pronsu, over here. Ow, ow. Those guys suck. I hate you guys so much. Uh, so, something tells me I should be trying to find that reinforced suit. Yeah, you. Fuck off. Um, don't do that to me. That's not nice. Not fair. I call shenanigans. Oh, wrong button. Okay, what's our... We're at 45%. I'm a little nervous about our survival situation here. Oh, I think we're in a different spot now. What is all this? I want to get... Oh, whoa, 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 what's that? What's that? What's that? Don't like the look of that. Nope. Oh, that's... That looks like infected postules on that thing. Okay, what is... Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to tangle with anything right now. I just want to get... Get to where I need to go. Oh, shit. Uh, should have brought more water. Um... I hope wherever I am. Oh god, what is this place? That thing looks okay. How hot is it? Fifty degrees still. Shoot. Oh, I don't like the look of that thing. Um. Okay, this has me flipping there. Oh, what is that? Ah, fuck. Damn it. Uh, I wish I had that reinforced suit. Is that the kyanite crystal? No. Fuck you. Ah, shit. Pronzi, Pronzi, Pronzi. You motherfucker. Where are you? Okay, you know what? Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh no! Well, fuck. That's a hell of a place to lose stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um, that's not great. Well, um, shit. Well, this can only go 900 meters. Um... Hmm. That's a hell of a place to leave my prawn suit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a trip. Uh, I wonder if I can get my Cyclops down there. I might have to. Alright, well that's going to be another day. Because uh, I think we're out of time. And I have a big problem to solve. A big problem. And I need to find that reinforced suit. I don't think I've found the schematics for that yet. Uh, and I know it exists. Um, equipment... No, I don't, I don't even have the, the schematics for it. So I think I need that before I go find, try to find my prawn suit. 
Okay. All right, this has been Genosis with episode 17 of Subnautica. If you like your sire today, like the video. If you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time where hopefully we will be more prepared. <laughs>